Father Larry, Dr. Ray, a little Christianity 101. We're supposed How would you know that? I read a book. Oh, okay. We're supposed to love, right? Uh, we're commanded to. Okay. The only commandment of Jesus. Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Okay. Do I have to like? <laughs> well, again, you, you know, the Dorothy Day once said, you know Dorothy Day? Is she a theologian? No, she wasn't a theologian. She was uh, probably going to be uh, canonized, and it'll be interesting if she gets canonized. Cause, well, anyway, um, but one of the things she used to say, she says, we love God as much as the person we like the least. I'm dead in the water. I know, me too. And uh, so I often sit there, and so I have people go, and I go, so I want you to think about the person you just can't stand. You know, the person who really hurts you, and da-da-da. I went, you're thinking about that person, you're feeling about that person. Now, see, now you're talking resentment I and know. ill will, not Mom, dislike. I was saying that, and I says, the person you like the least. Well, that's how much you love God. Now, someone will say, well, who's Dorothy Day? Correct. Let's go to Jesus Christ, you know, and say in Matthew 25, the only time Jesus ever talked about final judgment, everybody plays these games on final judgment and how we'll be judged. Well, Jesus is pretty explicit on how we're going to be judged. Right. The only time in the Bible that Jesus says when he's going to judge the living and the dead and they're all going to come before him, he says, whatever you did or failed to do, to the least of these is well, what, what you did to deal with me. What does that have to do with liking somebody? I can do that and not like it's you. The, it's the least on your own personal list. List, not just the least in the world. So, like, let's say in my list of people I don't like. Don't, there include, are, me. don't include me. Yeah, I, I, I can't say it here. I'm on your show. Okay. You know, so let's say you were on the bottom. Well, for me, that's what God's going to make me look at him because everybody that God created, he likes, right? That's why he died for them. He doesn't like what they do, but he likes them as a person. You know, most people... You know, again, I, I, years ago I was watching somebody and, uh, and they talked about if we only knew the history of most people, we probably wouldn't judge anybody. You know, because everybody has a history. And everybody, like I am the way I... You have I, a lot more history I have a most. big history. You know, but again, like often people talk about my personality and my different stuff. Well, a lot of my history, and that comes from me being an adult child of an alcoholic. You know, so it gives me a particular bent on life. And so sometimes it's a good bent, sometimes it's a bad bent. But if you know the history of different people, you'll get to understand them. You mightn't agree with them. You mightn't okay, agree with what they you're do. You're softer toward them. Okay, I got exactly. You can be softer but toward them. But you still them. don't have to like what they do. What if you don't like being around them? Well, again, family member. I'm still with you. You know, okay, so we're it's okay. okay. Yeah, 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 to be as close to you. A family you know, member, somebody that sure. just is on Christmas Eve just bothers the heck out of you. I always talk about, Lord, I can't love this person or like this person. You got to do it for me. And then our job then is to get out of the way and let Jesus Christ do it for us. You see, too often we make Christianity about us and how we feel and what we do instead of letting Jesus live his life through us. You know, it's about what Jesus does inside of me, not what I do for Jesus. You know, so when it comes to liking people, and again, I often sit there and uh, say that what we need is, is God's heart. You know, so sometimes say, Jesus, you know, you got to love this person. Give me your heart to love them. You know, one of my, my uh, God rest him, my spiritual director for many years, he used to sit there and make you me... You killed him. I know. He said, he used to, he said to me, uh, a big penance he used to give me all the time was, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Yeah. And he'd make me say that like a thousand times in a day. It'd just make you mad, didn't it? It'd make you meek and humble exactly. at all. Exactly. Because, again... When I'm meek and humble of heart, when I have the heart of Jesus, then I can look at everybody and sit there and, you know, you look at some of the great saints, and some of the great saints would look at the worst people in the world and still like them. And again, when I don't like somebody, I'm also making a judgment, right? Less pride, easier to like someone? Ah, well, I would think so. Uh, I, that's no, why it's hard for maybe, me. Maybe less... Uh, self-absorption, less yes. uh, superiority. Sure, you know. or less uh, thinking of self, uh, meaning that it doesn't matter what I think when it comes to other people. It matters what I think about what they do. Like if someone comes up and they believe in killing people or killing babies, I can't sit there and say I agree with them or I like that stance at all. I'm dead set against it, and I'll do everything in my power to stop that st uh, action. But I still got to like them as a person. You know, what makes them think this way? Where did they get that from? And it might help me to understand them more, but never okay. How do you know you're liking somebody? 
I don't know. You know, think about it. How do you know? I think one of the ways that we can do anything is that, Lord, I don't like this person for feelings, but uh, I ask you to bless them. So we go against our feelings. Remember, again, little, the little flower. There was someone that she didn't like. And so what did she do is she would go, and she and it was in the community in the, in the, with amongst the sisters, and she went out of her way to be nicer to that person than she was to any of the she other nuns. She went counter to her feelings. Exactly. She went exactly opposite how she felt. And one day the sister came to her and says, you know, sister, what is it about me that you like me so much? You know, she didn't let her feelings dictate her action. So what you're saying is, like is action, not it, it, necessarily a particular inner negativity. Exactly. You know, and That's so easier we to got, do. And exa- yeah, and it also got to be that our, we got to go beyond our thoughts. We got to go beyond. I brought this topic up because Father has told me on a number of occasions that he what? has a hard time liking me. Well, so does his wife. You know, it's still...